Imagine if Pokemon existed in real life. Let's check out Hoenn. Now it's time for part three of my series. And if you haven't checked out Johto or Kanto yet, make sure you do by clicking the link up here. My cat has got herself settled, so I think we're ready to dive into this. Make sure you comment down below your favorite Pokemon that you're about to see, because I think these are amazing. I think out of all the series we've done, the Hoenn ones, the art style that we found is amazing. You're gonna love a lot of these. Of course, if you like the video, make sure you also chuck a like on it and you subscribe to the channel if you haven't before. Four. Let's get into Hoenn. And starting off with Trico, looking like a lizard, but it's a it's a cute lizard at that. I guess that's pretty accurate. That is very cool. Wow, look at the Grovile. Definitely gone for more like a raptor, dinosaur kind of feel. That is very cool. Yo, yep, and Sceptile as well, also looking like a dinosaur. Evolved, I guess, from a Velociraptor into a T-Rex kind of looking dinosaur. Very cool. I like that a lot. Yo, Torchic is so cute. Oh, he's so well done. I love that. I love that he's breathing a little bit of fire too very cool yo combustion looking very nice as well definitely get into the fighting style now Ooh, yo blaziken okay okay this is really interesting as well look at that style i love that that looks very cool oh my god look at mudkip he's so derpy i guess mudkip's kind of a derpy pokemon anyway i think he needs some teeth maybe or i, I don't know he looks very, <laughs> he looks very derpy there Marsh top also looking kind of derpy. It's just a cute little frog. Oh, I like it though. It looks very cute. And okay, here we go. Now, now we're evolved. Now we've got the marsh top looking very cool. I love that. Looking a lot like a frog, which is awesome. And it's looking very cool. I like that a lot. Okay, Poochie and we've gone past the starters. I guess looking like a wolf even the tail is not all like the right colors that's supposed to be but i guess it's it's what it is okay mighty and looking like a wolf again interesting they've gone like more of the wolf vibe rather than like the hyena vibe for the pooch and mighty Anna. but that's, that's not bad it's not bad all right Zangus. is that like a raccoon maybe i can see it's got like the spiky stripes on it and it's got obviously got like the mask on it but uh, it's just a raccoon i suppose all right, Lindon, looking like a ferret, I think. I'd say that looks like a ferret. It's got the right design on it. The blue eyes are very cool, but it's just a ferret, I think. Oh, God. Oh, I don't know about Wurmple. That looks really creepy. That looks, that looks, oh, God. I don't think I want to see that in real life. That is not for me. Yikes. No, thank you. Nope. Oh, that looks very well done. Oh, that's cool. It's kind of almost like a spider web in a way. Silcoon definitely looking very cool here. Yo, okay, butterflies, a butterfly. Not much I can say about that, I suppose. Yo, that is badass. That is creepy. Imagine walking through a jungle and seeing something like that. Look at those red eyes. Wow, that is so cool. All right, dust dogs looking like a moth, I guess. But the color scheme is really cool. They've, the art style is really cool on that one. Low tags and lily pad. I mean, you can't fault it, I suppose. It's unfortunate we can't see underneath it. We can just see the top of the lily pad, but uh, all right, it is what it is. <gasps> Yo, all right, all right. That looks very cool. That's a completely different direction. Definitely got more of the, the duck bill kind of look to it, which is very cool. Wow, I like that a lot. Well done. Lombre, very cool. Yeah, uh, Detective Pikachu, of course. Ludicolo was one of my favorites in Detective Pikachu. Very derpy, just screams. <laughs> Perfect. I like it a lot. <laughs> All right. See, that looks cool. Definitely looks like an acorn. Wow. Whoever's done this art style, that almost looks like it was made in real life. That is so cool. The eyes are a bit creepy, but the acorn is looking very cool. All right. All right. This is a very different direction. Very different. By the way, if you didn't know, Nuzleaf has nipples. So there you go. That's an important Pokemon fact for you. But luckily, this drawing doesn't have nipples on it. But wow, that's very interesting. It looks like it's got a mask on. Very cool. Shift tree looking badass. It's almost like a jungle ninja, I guess. I don't know. I'm getting that kind of vibe from it. That looks really cool, though. Wow. Taylo is a, is a little bird. Yep. Swallow also bird, I guess. <laughs> Wing girl. Yep. It's a seagull. At least it's got the blue on it, which is kind of cool. Uh, but it, it's just a seagull, I suppose. Yep. Palippa. All right. Looking like a pelican. At least the colors are done, which is which is good. I guess this is accurate of what it would be in real life. So, whoa. All right. That Rolt looks interesting. Wow. You can actually see its eyes. Wow. Oh, but you know what? It looks like if Voldemort was wearing a bike helmet. That's it's, it's the nose. It's the nose. All right. Very interesting for Curlia. Okay. Definitely looks more like, I don't know, like a dinosaur. Maybe I'm getting dinosaur raptor vibes from it. Or maybe like bird vibes from it. I don't know. It doesn't look like a ballerina anymore. Very interesting. There's, I think it's the feet and the claws is what they've done to it. Yo, mummy. What? Mummy? Gardevoir is looking sick. Look at that. Very, very, very humanoid. 
but I guess Gardevoir's kind of humanoid anyway. But wow, look at that. The face is definitely like a human face though, isn't it? Wow. Sasuke, all right, looking cool. I, I would be remiss to not do one of my favorite Pokemon memes. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> All right, my screen looking like a, a moth, I guess. All right, not bad, not bad. What? Shroomish? Wait, Shroomish is a bird now? All right, I always thought it was like a mushroom or something, but apparently this artist has taken on it like a bird, which is very interesting. Okay, I can dig it. I don't mind that. Very different, but looks pretty cool. Right. Oh, wow. All right. Breloom, it's definitely not like a bird anymore. That looks almost like a dinosaur. It almost looks like maybe like a raptor again. We've had a few raptors. Like a raptor again, maybe with the claws. Very interesting. That mouth is kind of a bit weird. That looks very wrinkly. It's like an old man Breloom, maybe with the wrinkles in the face. I don't know. Wow. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, my God. That might be the cutest one we've seen so far. Slackoth. Oh, it's such a baby. Oh, I love it. I love his little smile. It's so cute. Big Roth, no longer cute. Big Roth out here looking like King Kong or something. I don't know. Wow, that is like an angry gorilla. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Looks like an angry gorilla. God, I wouldn't want to mess with that. That is no longer cute anymore. What? What is that? Dude, Slacking's at a bar ordering a drink. Hello? That is, what is that? That is not what I expected at all. I mean, it looks like a costume or something. Did someone wear this to some kind of con? Oh my God. He's ordering a drink. What is that? Oh, yep, yeah, gross. Mm, nah, not about it. Not about that. Thank you. Let's, no, thank you. Moving on. All right, that's, that's not bad. The colors are very cool on it. It's definitely got the red in the wings, which looks cool as well. But look at that stinger. Yeah, I didn't know you ninja to get a stinger like that. God. Oh, it's so cute. Look at the little shit ninja. Little bug. Oh, it's... It's good that we get a bit of scale. A lot of these drawings, we don't get scale, but obviously we can get some scale on that now because it's tiny in the hand. Wow. <gasps> Yo, oh, Wisdom is cute. That's an interesting direction for her. It's kind of more like, it's definitely got the ears of like a bunny anyway in Wisma, but okay, it's a pink bunny, I guess. Cool, interesting. Loud Dread. I think that's from um, Detective Pikachu again, but that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. That's well done. Whoa, hang on a second. Hang on. Exploud has just gone nuts. What is that? That is so cool. That looks like some kind of monster from the upside down or something. God, you would not want to run into those in real life. I tell you what. Even look at the things at the back as well. That's such an interesting take on the Pokemon. Oh my God. Yeah, what is this? Makarina is a sumo. I mean, that makes sense. I love the sensor bars. We don't want to see those around here. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> this is so clever. I mean, true, true. It just needs like the little circles on its face and it's good. Oh my God. <laughs> That's so funny. Wow. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hariyama is completely different. This looks like it's out of some anime or something. Is this in Spirited Away by Studio Ghibli? That's exactly what it looks like. That is such an interesting take. It looks like a pig or a boar or something. Wow. Oh, Azuril. Azuril is my favorite baby Pokemon of all time. And this is so cute. It's like a little field mouse or something with a long tail. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. Wow. Yep, nose pass. Looking like the statues from Easter Island. That is very accurate. Yep. Oh, Skitty's kind of cute. I wonder if it does like a, an actual cat, but then they've, I don't know, they've, they've added a lot of pink to it and that tail's interesting. So very cute though. Very cute. Yo, Delcaddy though. All right, all right. This has definitely evolved into a big cat now, not just a little kitten. Wow, that looks very cool. I love the details on this. This is really cool. Like what's around its neck? Like it's almost like, looks like a feather boa, but, and what's on, like the details in the face as well. That's also very cool. I like that. That's very cool. Wow. <sighs> Yo, Sableye. Wow. It's looking like Stitch from Lilo and Stitch, I guess in the face anyway. That is super well done. That is so cool. I love that. It's got like the gemstones on it, but it's also got a few around it at the same time. That is very cool. I love that take. Yo, Marwa. Wow. Hang on. Marwa's like a bug now? Is it almost like a praying mantis? It definitely looks like it with the... With the Whatever these parts are of the praying mantis. That is very interesting. All right, I don't mind that take at all under my while. Yo, Aaron looks cool. What is that? It's like made out of rocks, maybe? How good is that eye, though? That blue, shiny eye. Wow. Yo, wait, what? 
Laron is now humanoid, I guess? Wow, okay. That almost looks like an orc or something out of Lord of the Rings. I mean, it definitely looks like a Laron with like the back and their facial structures and stuff like that. But why, why, why do people have to turn Pokemon into humans? Why do they do that? I don't know. Yo! Whoa, look at the aggro on that. It's amazing. It's looking like a dinosaur, but it's a mix of dinosaurs. It's definitely like a Triceratops kind of head, but like a T-Rex body. That is so cool. We can also see some Lerons and, Ar and Arons in that one too. Walking around, which are also very interesting takes. Definitely got like more of a dinosaur kind of trio. That's so cool. Wow. I hope you're loving the Pokemon so far, guys. And if you are, this is a good chance to stop and make sure you subscribe to the channel for plenty more content like this. I've also got Kanto and Johto. So if you haven't seen those, make sure you go check them out. I also stream four days a week at twitch.tv slash metal four. So if you love Pokemon as much as me, come in for lots of Pokemon content. All right, let's get back into it. What is that? Oh my God, that meta type. Wait, is he making a duck face? What is happening there? That is like a, a messed up smurf. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> interesting take. Very interesting take. Yo, damn that Medicham though. They really paid attention to the lips. Something I hate about Medicham is the lips and they've definitely brought that into life. Okay. That's very cool though. Looks like he's meditating. Wow. That is really cool. Well done. Oh, Electro, it looks really cute. Oh, that's so cool. What is it? Is this supposed to be like maybe some kind of dog? I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell, but that is really cool. I like that a lot. It's really cute. I love the eyes. All right, Manectric. All right, definitely from a little dog to a wolf. That makes sense. All right, it's evolving. Electric wolf. Oh, that's so cute. Look at the plus. Of course, we have to have plus of the minion together. You can't have one without the other. So we've got both of them there. We can see the little rabbits. Oh, that's so cute. I love them. All right, and then another go. So now the minion, but we've got Plusle and minion. Looking like rabbits, that makes sense. I think I prefer the Plusle, that artistic representation. I mean, well, the one that we saw before, but this is still kind of cute. They're very cute. All right, Volbeat, interesting. I love that. It's, it's flying around. Do we, do we get to see Volbeat flying around very often? Probably not. That's very cool though. I don't mind that at all, that Volbeat. Whoa, that Illumice, that is creepy. Oh my, why is he sitting there doing this? No, no, no. No, thank you. What is coming out of its mouth? That is creepy as all hell. My God. I did not expect a Lumi to be creepy. Not at all. Yeah, Roselia. Yeah, look like plants. That's very cool. I wonder how that's done. Yeah, just straight up petals and plants. That looks cool. Interesting take. Very cool. Ew, Gulpin. Almost looks like a blobfish. Gulpin, not cute. No, thank you. I don't want that. Yeah, what? <laughs> Dude, swallow. look at the mouth. Oh my God, the mouth is bigger than the rest of it. That is so cool. Yep, Kavana, Dex Geo Wild. Hello, that's cool. Wow, yep, looking like a piranha, very cool. I love the teeth, look how big those teeth are. That is something you definitely don't wanna see out in the real world. Something like that with those sort of teeth, wow. Yo, the Sharpedo's looking so cool. Look at that, that looks dangerous. Look at this, they've got like battle scars and stuff. That looks so dangerous, the teeth. It looks very menacing. And there's a group of them together. Definitely not what you want to see in the water. That is very awesome. Yo, Wilm! Oh, that looks a little bit derpy. I don't know about that. There's some wingles there too. Don't know about the Wilm. Also, why is it beach? That's that's not that's not what you're supposed to do. Oh god. Yo, the Waylord looks sick though. It's kind of a bit stumpy. Not as long as I maybe would have liked, but they still really, really cool. And are they humans? There's something very, very small down there. That uh, just shows a bit of scale. That is ginormous. That is crazy cool. Wow. Yep. All right. Numo looking like a camel. That kind of makes sense. Unfortunately, you know, if it had a bit of a green hump, would have been good, but it's just a camel. All right. Yo, camera ups though. That looks very cool. The volcanoes are amazing. And it's even breathing or yawning a little bit of fire as well. That is awesome. I love the volcanoes on the back. Yo, Torko looking very cool too. Wow. Definitely going into tortoise mode. Looking old and grumpy, which is very cool. I love that a lot. Spike, what is that? Oh my God. I don't know like who's rendered that or whatever they've done, but that looks kind of creepy, but not in a good way, not in an awesome way. That's just weird. I don't know about that at all. Okay, Grumping, it looks like a drawing, I suppose, but yeah, okay, that's interesting putting it on all fours, more like a wild boar, I guess, which is an interesting take. I don't mind that actually, that's on all fours because the, the bipedal Grumping, I'm not so sure about, but that looks cool. Yo, oh my God, Spender is having a ball. Look at him go, he is straight vibing out there. That is so cool. It's like a red panda dancing. I love it. That's really cool. 
All right, Trapper, she's cool. Devlin looks like a dinosaur, I would say. A few dinosaur Pokemon here. But that's looking really cool, actually. I like that a lot. Trap inch, very nice. Okay, Vibrava looking cool. Definitely looking more like a bug now. Or maybe more like a dragon, actually. Definitely kind of looks like a dragon, which is very interesting. It's definitely growing up a bit. Yo, Flygon looking cool. Not bad, not bad. Definitely more like a dragon here. Not so much a bug. Definitely looking like a dragon, I would say. The eyes are very bug-like, which is cool, though. All right. It's a cactus with a flower. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. That works. Sense. Oh, yo, Cacturn is looking scary as hell. Oh my god, what has happened there? That is a thing of nightmares. Oh my god, that is so cool. This looks like a very good Halloween kind of drawing, I'll say. Wow. <gasps> Swabble is so cute. Oh, it's, it's making it look like a bird, which is really interesting. All right, all right. We can take that. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's cute. Yo, Terry as well. Kind of looking like a peacock, would you say? Maybe definitely following that bird look. Um, not as fluffy as you might have thought, but definitely following like a bird, like a peacock. I like that. That's pretty cool. Yo, Zagus is looking cute. All right. Zagus is looking very cute. Normally it's like angry and grumpy, but that's kind of cute. I don't mind that at all. It's a viper. Yo, okay. It looks like a, looks like a snake, obviously, but the fangs are huge. The coloring is nice as well. And you got the tail. I like the tail there. The tail's looking good. Yo, all right, Lunatone. I was wondering how you would do a Lunatone and a Soul Rock because they're rocks or the moon and the sun. But this is kind of cool. You can see it's floating above the earth there as well, which is cool. We've got the shiny version there too with the blue eyes, which is nice. All right, all right. All right, yo, the Soul Rock looks kind of cool too. I guess as like a sun. It looks like the sun, but that's really cool. I like that a lot. The detail on it is looking awesome. Yo, oh, Barbos looks so cute, actually. It's so little. I guess because we got that scale. Like, if it's only the size of, you know, your hand, that's, that's quite small, which is which is cute. Definitely looking like a catfish, which is very cool. I like that. It's a lot more detailed. Yo, Wishcatch! Wow, he's an angry big fish. Wishcatch is normally so smiley, but he's actually really angry here. I don't know what's going on. All right, we got a, a lobster out here for crawfish. Makes sense. Yo, that looks pretty cool, though. Wow, all right, Crawdon looking scary. Crawdon is not something you want to see in real life down a back alley or something like that. That will mess you up. Wow. <laughs> Yo, what? Bolton, yeah, just, let's just have a spinning top in there. That'll do. It's, it, that's essentially what it is. Yo, Claydon looking cool though. Looking like a bird, like an owl. All right, I don't know if it's meant to be like an owl, but that is a really cool take on it. I like that a lot, actually. That's really cool. The leap. All right, that's looking cool. Looking like a bit of coral, I suppose. But yeah, not bad, not bad. All right, that's not bad too. All right, interesting. Yo, Anna is looking cool. Wow. If you were swimming and you saw something like that, you'd get the hell out of the water. Ooh, that's very cool. Yo, wow, Amaldo. Okay, okay. This is looking very interesting. I like that a lot. Definitely very dark and sinister kind of vibes in this drawing though. Yo, oh, yo, look at Phoebus. Oh my God, his eye makes him look like an old man. I mean, what else can you do? It's, it's a fish, right? It's just a fish. Yo, look at my Lodic. Wow, I was really interested in the take that they were going to do with this. Like, would they make it something really beautiful and stunning? Or would they make it almost like Gyarados-like? And I would say this is kind of Gyarados-like in a way because it looks really angry. It looks very angry and very creepy, but it's still, the rest of it as well is very, very detailed. That is so cool. Whoa, well, cars form. Look at that. Oh my God, that's such a creative way to do it. They've like made it out of water, but it doesn't look like the water cast form. It definitely looks like the normal one. That is so cool. What a what a great way to draw it. Yep, Kecleon looking like a chameleon. That makes a lot of sense. Unfortunately, it doesn't have like the purple stripe or anything, but yeah, I guess that's what it is. Yo, shop it. <gasps> Oh, that is creepy. That looks like it's come straight out of a nightmare. God damn. Wow. Very, very creepy. Yo, what the hell is that? Oh my God. Bennett is very creepy as well, but definitely got like a puppet kind of look into it. That is really interesting way to take it. Wow. Yo, Duskull's looking really creepy too. I'm loving the vibes with these ghost Pokemon. They've all gone down like the creepy road with this. Wow. And I love the fire in his eye as well. That's so cool. What a cool way to do it. Yeah, all right, Dusclops is a bit different. Doesn't look so much like a ghost. Now it's kind of like a, a mummy, I guess, but it's still got some kind of ghost aspects to it. Like it's a spectral kind of mummy, which is an interesting way to do it. I like that, that's pretty cool. The teeth do make it look derpy though, <laughs> but that's pretty cool, I like that. Yo, Tropius, wow. Definitely looking like a dinosaur, but I love that, that looks really cool. Tropius is such an interesting Pokemon. 
Yo, Chimico! I love it. Chime, chime! It's definitely looking like a wind chime. That's that's what it is. There we go. Hang one of those up. I wouldn't mind having that in real life. That'd be so cool. Yo, Absol is looking very interesting. All right. That's one way to do it. Very interesting. Almost looking like a like a dog, maybe? A dog cross cat, cross wolf, cross lynx. I don't know. Like a whole bunch of animals together. But that's a very cool way to do it. I like that. Yeah, I would! Why not? Wow, he's very skinny. He looks very happy though, which is what why not usually is. But uh, wow, it looks very skinny. Can't, that's kind of creepy actually. It's creepier than I thought it would be. Wow. Oh, Snow Run's looking really cute though. Oh, he looks like he's all cuddled up in the cold, which I guess is what it does. So that's very cute. I like that a lot. Wow. Yo! All right. Lily is a bit different. Not so cute. Definitely creepy. That is definitely something very creepy. Look at those teeth. The, the direction that the artist has gone with the teeth is completely different to what we've seen in, you know, the regular Glilly. So that's very, very interesting. Oh, yo, Sphere! Oh, that's so cute. It's just a ball. It's just a ball. Oh, that's so cute and fluffy. Wow, look how happy he looks. All right, yo, Cilio, not bad, not bad. That looks kind of cool. We can see we've got the Sphere there as well. Not bad. I love the whiskers. Very well done. Very cool. Yo, all right, Warren. Definitely out here looking like a warrus now. Got a lot bigger. Wow. All right, that's very cool. Clamper. Oh, what? What? He looks like he's bracing himself. Like, mm. oh, Clamper. <laughs> all right, hang on. Wow. All right. It's Clamper has evolved, and now that is dangerous. Look at that. That looks like it could be in the deep, dark ocean and not something that you want to run into. That is very scary. Wow. Yeah, well, okay, bit of a different direction now for Gorbis. It still looks like it'll be down in the deep dark ocean, but that doesn't look as sinister as that down. <laughs> oh, yo, Relicanth, okay. That, that looks like it's just the Coelacanth fish, but that's what Relicanth is based off, so that makes sense. But the coloring is very, very close. But yeah, very ancient fish, the Coelacanth. So that looks pretty cool, not bad. Yeah, love disc, that kind of makes sense. What else can you really do? There's not a lot of detail in just a regular love disc, so. Fish that's pink in a heart. There you go. That's a love disc for you. <laughs> Yo, Bagon looks sick. Look at that. Definitely like a like a dragon, like a baby dragon, I guess. Especially with the, the scales going down the back. But breathing out a little bit of fire. That's interesting. All right. All right. The feet are huge. Look at those claws. Wow, that looks very cool. Yo, Shell Gun is very interesting. All right. All right. Shell Gun is just a... a a weird kind of Pokemon in general. But this looks awesome. Very sinister looking. It looks like something hiding away in a cave. Those eyes are very different to what I would think. So very cool. Yo, Salamence looks sick though. Now it's fully evolved. Now it's ready to do some damage. That looks awesome. Look at those teeth as well. Damn, and those eyes. That is really cool. I like Salamence a lot. Yo, Beldum. Okay, yeah. It's definitely looking metallic, which is what it should be. So, okay. That's kind of interesting. All right, not metallic anymore. Matang is it's evolved and now it definitely looks like it's fleshy or more alive in, in some kind of way. And it's got some claws and definitely not metallic. So very different direction on this one, which is interesting. Yo, and then the Metagross. What? It's got like little pincers or something, almost like a spider. Wow, definitely not metallic anymore. So that's kind of cool. That's cool. Yo, that Regirock looks sick. It actually looks like Boulder's put together, but it's got the lights on it on the face as well. That is really cool. I like that a lot. That's very well done. Definitely looking like what Regirock would be like in real life, I suppose. Yo, the Reg Ice as well. That's so cool. Definitely looking like ice. Looks like it'd be hidden away in a glacier or something somewhere. That is really cool. Nice. Yo, Registeel. Dude, Registeel's come straight out of Terminator. That is sick. That looks so menacing. Oh my God. That is really, really awesome. All right, all right. Now we're going into the Latius. So that's very, very interesting. That's more looking like a bird on the Latius. It's looking quite different to what you would think. Not looking like a dragon at all. But all right, there you go. There you go. Latios is definitely more like a dragon and not like a bird. But you've got this amazing looking dragon, but then the uh, arms are so pathetic. I guess that's what Latios looks like anyway. But if you have a badass dragon and you've got arms like that, that's kind of a bit of a letdown, I think. Wow. The face is amazing though. I love the face in the dragon. Yo, all right, all right. Kyogre, look at that, it's huge. I love the scale because it's got the human there. So you can see just how giant it is. And it's got the teeth as well, but that looks awesome. That looks so cool. Yo, look at the crowd on. Oh my God. That looks amazing. That is so cool. That is something that could 
definitely be called a legendary Pokemon. That is amazing looking. That may be one of my favorites actually in this whole episode. That is really cool, really well done and really scary too. Yo, well, hang on, hang on. Maybe I spoke too soon. That Rayquaza is amazing as well. Oh my God, look at the detail in that. Definitely looking like a flying sky dragon thing, but God, very creepy and scary as well. That looks like a mythical Chinese dragon or something like that. My God, that's crazy cool. I like that a lot. What? Yo, look at Jirachi. Oh my God. It's like a ninja or a knight or something like that. Jirachi is just like little baby and small, but that, is, that, that could kick your butt. My God, that is such a cool take on it. I love it. Yo, and Deoxys, woo. Deoxys is looking like an alien. Like if an alien came down and Will Smith had to fight it in the next Independence Day, I think you just have to give it to the alien. There's no way Will Smith could beat this, right? That is crazy cool, Deoxys, wow. Well, I am thoroughly impressed with some of these drawings. I don't even know what I could choose would be my favorite. Maybe Groudon would have been up there, but there's a lot of other amazing ones as well. Some of the art styles is incredible in this. I hope you liked it, guys. And if you did, make sure you subscribe for more content just like this. And let me know in the comments what your favorite Pokemon is. Thanks.